Good afternoon, I'm John. We're here at T. Patterson Men's Store on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. And I'm here with our stylist, Dino, who's gonna help us today and he's gonna show us how to pick out the perfect dress shoe for work. So Dino, I just got a new office job. I've got my suits picked out, I've got my pants, my nice shirts, everything. I'm just missing my shoes. What's the first thing I gotta do? Well, your safest bet is something in brown, because today, black shoes are, they wear black shoes, but not very often. Brown pretty much is predominant in, uh, in whatever color suit you're gonna wear. All right. And uh, you can use a lace model like this, or we also do a lot with monk straps like that. But these shoes are crossover shoes. You could also wear them for sportwear, so they're a good investment. In other words... So if I had a pair of jeans... Absolutely. And I wanted to wear one of these pair of shoes... This would put your jean outfit together. It would make your jean outfit become important. All right. Because of the character of the shoe. So the shoe really is making the outfit in Absolutely. This case. It's, like a, it's like a beautiful bag that a woman carries, you know, and it makes the outfit. Right, it's not that, too many men carrying the bags around these days. No, no, no. So, no, no, uh, no. We'll stick but with the shoes. It's that nice leather accessory that really gives the importance to your clothes. If I have a suit, a nice suit, and I want to make sure I have a pair of shoes that just specifically go with that, um, what's my best bet for the, the cream of the crop shoe? Do I need a buckle? Do I need lace up? Can, I, can I wear a slip on with a suit? You can wear it. You know, the rules changed. Uh, years ago, you couldn't. But nowadays, uh, I do is particularly some beautiful, very dressy slip on shoes. Okay. And, uh, you know, people don't wear suits that much. Uh -oh. So when somebody wears a suit, it's a celebration. So you can almost well, wear we're anything. celebrating today, do you know? <laughs> you, you can almost wear anything. But a beautiful handmade slip-on shoe uh -huh. that isn't obviously something like this, which is a driving shoe that you would wear with shorts or with All cotton right. slacks to the beach or whatever. Uh, it would make sense to wear, uh, like I say, either a lace shoe mm -hmm. like this. What's very popular right now are these vintage shoes, the shoes that look like they're already worn in. Right. And they have a lot of character. They almost look like old furniture, I mean, but they're very chic. You could wear them with a suit and you could wear them with shorts, you could wear them with jeans, you could wear them with anything. Now, let's say I, say I bought one of these shoes, whether it even be a vintage, older right. looking shoe or a nice, pristine... Cleaner one like that, right. How do I keep it looking good? How do I keep it looking new or keep, keep it looking like it's supposed to? You keep it polished with a neutral polish so you, so you don't disturb the color. Once you start putting color polish on the shoe, it changes the shoe. Okay. And the shoes are finished so beautifully from the factory, you don't want to... That's what you're paying for, you don't want to lose that. So the way to maintain that, saddle soap to keep the leather soft and also neutral polish to keep them shined. So Dino, I'm not going to spend all my time in the office, or at least I hope not. <laughs> so I'm going to need shoes for other occasions, whether it be out at night or on the weekend when I'm well, lounging I'm, around. We have a nice selection of luxury sports shoes, shoes like this. They look like a sneaker, but they're not. They're just a luxurious sneaker model in a, in a suede combination with fabric. Those are an, an, what I would call an elegant sports shoe. All right. Versus this is kind of a funky one, you know, it's a little bit rougher. Well, so, well, what's the first thing I need to address, I guess, in deciding what type of casual shoe I want? Well, the safe bet would be something like a driving shoe like that, because that kind of works all, always for sportswear. Right. If you were going to get one pair, that's, that's what I'd recommend. If you were going to get a wardrobe of shoes, then I would ask you to introduce a little color too. Don't be afraid of color. All right. You know, in America, everything is black and brown. but. Uh, a little color in the summer is fine. Now, in a shoe like this, obviously, that has a little more distressed look to right. it, am I going to do anything to no. ruin the black if I'm No, just on wear it? them because those, the, the more worn they get, the better they look. So I don't have to do anything to Nothing this shoe. to those except just to keep the leather healthy. You want to put some saddle soap once in a while. But okay. you don't want to worry about them getting dirty because dirty is the look for that. So That's the more the I wear impression. them, the better they're going to get. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Sounds That's the good. character of the shoe. That should be the way it should be. Not, something you'd be worried about, like a beautiful dress shoe that you want to shine all the time, you know? Right. So Dino, now with a red, very colorful shoe like that, what are the rules as far as wearing that shoe? I wouldn't even think about it, as long as you put it with the appropriate accessories. You know, a jean, a cotton, tan cotton trouser, a white cotton trouser, a blue denim, a jean, you know, a blue jean, and uh, they work. I mean, it's a little bit of color, which is not going to hurt you for the summertime. You know, the same black and brown, black and brown. Summer comes, you want to be a little more interesting, I think. Right. And livelier. And you shouldn't be afraid of that. It takes a confident man to wear red shoes. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you see me in red shoes, you know I gained a little bit of confidence. You've got a thank lot of Dino confidence. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Dino, we do appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us today. If you do find yourself in the LA area, come and check out T. Pedersen Men's Store on Sunset Boulevard. And here's some other spots you can check out.